So you want to install Windows on dual M.2 PCIe SSDs in RAIDs? Stick around and I'll show you how. Hey, this is Rod from Ram City. We're going to be installing dual SM951 NVMe SSDs in a ASRock Z170 Extreme 7 Plus motherboard in RAID. This will work in RAID 0 or RAID 1. I'm going to show you exactly what BIOS and uh, software modifications you need to make. Let's get into it. Okay, so to get into the BIOS or the UEFI, we need to press the F2 button. And from there, we just press F6 for the advanced mode. Press enter. Go across to the advanced tab down to the storage configuration. Press enter. And down to the SATA mode selection. So the first thing we need to do is change that from AHCI to RAID. And then in the Operon policy, we change that from legacy to UEFI only, which is what we need for our NVMe SSDs. And we also need to do the remapping. So I've got the two SM951s installed in M.2 socket two and three. So I'm going to change that and enable both those. And at this point, we need to do a F10 and save and reboot the machine and then get back into the BIOS again. So once again, press F2 to get back into the BIOS. Press F6 to switch to advanced mode. And you can see now that we've got the Intel Rapid Storage Technology folder is enabled. So we need to jump into that. And we're going to create a RAID volume. And we just need to give the volume a name. Doesn't matter, you can put hyphens in there as well. Uh, you can choose the RAID level, so either RAID 0 or RAID 1. So we're just going to do RAID 0 for this one and just go down to our two SM951s that are installed. We need to select each one and then select the X. And once that's done, you go down and enter on create volume. And now we've got our RAID volume installed. And we need to now reboot the machine, uh, press F10 to save the settings and reboot. Okay, now before we boot the machine at this point, there's a couple of things. So one is you've got to have your Windows installation media in one of your USB slots. So Windows 10, like I've got here, now comes on a USB drive. But if you're installing Windows 8, and you've got it on a DVD drive, you can put it on a USB drive and there's lots of guides on the internet. We've also got uh, Windows 8.1 installation videos here on our channel that you can look up to see how you can convert it to a USB installation. And the other thing you'll need is another USB drive, any kind will do, but you need to have the Intel IRST drivers on there. And these are commonly called the F6 drivers. So you need to download these from Intel unzip them, put them on the USB drive, and you'll have to have those uh, ready, that USB drive in the machine as well, so that you can install those drivers during the Windows installation process. So let's get into it. Okay, so now we're, I've hit the F11 key, so I've got a boot menu, and I've got to choose the USB drive that's got my Windows installation on it. And at this point, you must choose the UEFI one. So if I choose that one, it will not work properly. I need to choose the UEFI version and press enter. And I'm gonna go with my 64-bit version. And I'm also going to put in my Intel RAID on my IRST drivers on my other USB drive in the machine as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave these at the defaults for the sake of expediency. So I've gotta put my product key in. Click accept, so you have to choose a custom install here. Now you notice that there's no driver available and it can't see that this is where we need to load the RAID driver. So we just select load driver 
and then select browse and I've got my driver on my back rim one here and it's at the root level so I just click OK there and it's found the driver so I just go next and this part does take a while it takes around about a minute for it to do its thing here so just let it go and it will get to the next stage. So finally it's we've now got a drive that we can work with so because we did this in a raid in a stripe you can see we've got twice the amount of space the two drives together and we just go next and off goes the Windows installation which takes a few minutes so this is the first reboot for Windows and it's almost ready Okay, so we're back for our third reboot. I'm just going to go with the Express settings. So what I've done is I've got Anvil Pro Utilities so that we can do a quick benchmark on the SM951s that are in RAID. So you can download that, it's a free program. Just type in Anvil Utilities in Google. We've got the C drive selected. I'm just going to run this. Okay, so that's the benchmark complete. So overall, some pretty phenomenal results there. Almost 3,000 megabytes a second on the read and about 2,400 on the writes. Um, this does vary. I've run this a few times and I've gotten just over 3,000 sometimes. The IOs uh, tend to be around about this sort of 170, 180 thousand mark which is quite a bit short of the IOs that uh, Samsung state which is around 300,000 on the read but that's probably got something to do with uh, the fact that we're running these in RAID. So that's it job done so if you found this installation video useful and you think that somebody else might find it useful as well then please use the share button. Have you got your own story about installing Windows on a M.2 SSD and did it work or didn't it work or have you got information that other people might find useful? If you do, then please put those in a comment below. And finally, we've got new content coming out every week and if you want to be the first to get notified about the new content on our channel, then head on over to the subscribe button, click there. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.